Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to talk about six bourbons not really worth hunting for. Now you may be wondering what those are and we're going to jump into it. Uh, but first... Well, two things. So the reason why on this list that these bourbons aren't worth hunting for, some of it is actually because the bourbons suck. And some of it is it's because... The price. We're not going to say which one sucks. Yeah. No, you you all will figure out really quick. And then the other thing is just like the hype of it. Like I, I think if you just wait long enough on one of these, you'll be able to find it at retail. And then if you like it, that's cool. It's just kind of not our thing. Uh, but yeah, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I actually like a bunch of these are because these bourbons sucked or were disappointing. So yeah, yeah and the secondary. Secondary is also going to play yeah. a huge part in these too. Uh, and the uh, the second thing, the probably honestly the more important thing is right now that you go ahead and hit that like button and then hit the subscribe. Bing, 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 Like it, like us up. If you hit the like button, that's the exact sound it makes. I promise. You should try it right now. Like, hit the like. subscribe, the subscribe button. Su subscribe buttons like this. Oh, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing else for you. Follow us on Facebook at Burby Kingdom. That's all I got. We're having fun tonight. That's Dave, all we dear know. God, start start the start the list. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, first one on the list is the good old Henry McKenna uh, bottle and bond. I'll be honest with you, it's not worth the hype. I when when I first got into bourbon, this is the one I wanted because I mean. What's better than having a a hundred dollar seal on it? It it literally has everything mapped out perfectly for marketing. It has all the awards. It has the age statement on there. It gives you the bottle. Date. It gives you the bottling date, which everybody wants a Blanton's with a bottling date. But yeah. if you can't find the Blanton's with a bottling date, yeah. you want to try to find this is five five oh eight. So you know whatever that. Whatever that does for you. But yeah, like this, and these bottles win, what is it, San Francisco Spirits Award competition? Area. Oh, yeah. Whatever, that spot in that warehouse, oh, that, that honey barrel <clears throat> comes from, yeah, like it, I, I understand all that. It blew up. Yeah, and, and I understand. Well, it still wins like every year. I feel yeah. like this bottle is winning awards every single year because of those couple barrels that they get. And I imagine they're fantastic. Guess what, people? We're not getting that because I imagine they're bottling that and then giving that to employees yeah. or giving that to very important people that's not, uh, well, at least you and I. Here's the truth. If you stumble upon this in the liquor store, buy it because you're going to get it for 35 36 retail. bucks At reasonable, but re reasonably you, around retail, yeah. you, I wouldn't pay secondary prices for it, which no. is what, running about 50 to 60 now? 50, 60, 70. I've seen them kind of fluctuate yeah. around it's, on local, national it's not. It's not worth that. It's the, the the liquid inside this bottle is not good no. enough that would would want you to pay that much for it. So, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So, the next one we're going to go to, and this is honestly one of the most disappointing bottles I've had all year, and it's just not this bottle it's all of them the new OKIs came out and they're all six year single barrel picks and you saw a lot of groups at least in the Louisville area some in the Ohio area they got a lot of these I've probably had six seven eight of them so far and they all suck and it's so disappointing because the 10 year and the 12 year OKIs are so freaking good and I loved them and they all are just bad you think, like it, you, it's you just, think it's just because there was a cry for the okay and just like please put some out put some out put some out and it just wasn't ready for what it what i don't it was. know because i thought it was like a really cool idea like where they sat there and they said hey literally apply they had like 25 barrels apply for it go for it. we went for it like you know every group in america went for it i think and they did a lot of charity work with it the whole idea of it, I think, is actually really cool yeah. with what they did. Like, I, I really approve of, like, the entire process. It's just the stuff that's actually in the bottle. I just not, do not approve <laughs> of said liquid in bottle. <laughs> it's rough. Yeah. It, it's rough. And this is coming from an OKI fan. Like, yeah. I, I am, I, and I know I'm more of a fan than him, 
and I've had a lot more of the OKI than him. Yeah, he's had a whole lot more than me. And, but and, I had I have had this one, this I've had this one, and I've had like two others, and they all are disappointing. Yeah, just disappointing. Disappointing. So, all right. So, uh, what what's the retail on that? Uh, that one was like sixty-ish bucks. Sixty-ish bucks. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so here might be the most <laughs> overpriced one uh, yeah, for yeah. what it is. Well, retail, retail, yeah, yeah, yeah retail, yeah, retail, yeah. overpriced is the Luxro. Uh, I tell you, the best thing it has for it is this. That <laughs> meaty cap. Yeah, this cap weighs four pounds. Easy, maybe even more than that. I don't know. Did you hear that? That. I mean, it's got a cool cork to it, but it's just way overpriced, and the juice just does not live up to to what it costs. No, I mean, it's like I, I think. But the bottle's cool looking, man. It is a cool looking bottle. It's an awesome bottle, and, and I don't know where they went wrong somewhere because, like, I think it. I, I think whenever you look at it, it says like age twelve years, and then they finish it in another barrel. Now, what I didn't realize whenever they finished it in the other barrel, it went from... Uh, it was Jan a horse trough barrel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> January 14th to February 6th. Not a long time no. to finish that at all. And this is like... Too long to be in a horse barrel, but, you know, <laughs> yes. whatever. I guess, whatever trash it was in. But it's so bad. And I look forward to getting one of these. I never just picked one up. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick one up. And they kind of flooded our market for a while. And I understand why they stayed in the market. Cool it's, bottle. It's not good. But it is a super cool looking bottle. Like, it looks great on shelf. Almost really as does. cool as the Smoke Wagon bottle. But not quite as good. Yeah, I don't know if it's quite that cool. No, not quite as cool. For All sure. right. Talking about another bottle that looks halfway decent. Kind of. I mean, it is a cool bottle. Well, it has a cool top-ish. Caribou Crossing. So this is made by Sazerac, obviously, because you can tell because it's basically modeled right after Blanton's. And whenever you start looking at it, you're like, okay, all right, cool. I'll pick one of these up. Hey, uh, real, real story, though. This is 40% uh, alcohol, 80 proofer right here for an allocated bottle. We're hunting this for, I mean, this is selling on the secondary, 80 proof. And it's not good. <laughs> Like, and I don't know if it's not good because it's 80 proof or it's made up in Canada. So Listen, you have Canadian whiskey. I would put, I would put the Four Roses 80 proof up against this, and you would probably like the Four Roses oh, 80 proof yeah. over this all day long. And you can get that for 17.99. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and this is going on secondary. I mean, you can find it for like around I don't know, like 80, 90 bucks. I think it's a beautiful moose that that sells it. Yeah, I mean, it's literally a Blanton's knockoff and. You know, if Blanton's is your thing, that's cool. But this doesn't, I mean, Blanton would smoke this bottle, yeah. in my opinion. So, yeah. it's just, it's, it's... It's not even worth talking about it anymore. Yeah, it's not good. Just so, moving on to the side. And then, uh, so, that was our first four. Now, we want to end it with our five and six, because they're basically kind of the same. They kind of are the same. I mean, realistically. And I know people are going to be like, oh, everybody says these bottles are bad. Well, it's because it's true. Like, I hate... <laughs> I mean, I hate saying it like this, but we were, so. The These are both less than $100 if you find them for for retail. Sure, sure. And I got the CYPB. I got that for actually less than retail. This one, yes, I paid a little bit on secondary a year or two ago for it. Just because I was like, I'll finish the, I'll finish the vertical. Yeah. I'll have all the wellers, whatever. And I just never got around to opening it. And then we were literally just looking this up before we started the video. And this bottle last sold on the secondary for around six fifty. Mm-hmm. Thousand dollars. A thousand dollars for this. And it's one thing if the stuff is good. Like that's what we were talking about. Like if you have something that's as good as King Kentucky and you can you can be in that price range. You can't even I, no. shut your mouth. Yeah, I, I know. Don't even I get it. Put those it. in the same. I get it. Put, don't even put those in the same sentence. <laughs> no disrespect to the king. No, all right. I feel like you just did <laughs> disrespect it. But this is nowhere. Like, let's be real. 
antique, foolproof. Weller Special Reserve is honestly better than the single barrel. Like, it, Weller 12, like, name them. This is, this is honestly the worst one. And it's going for $1,000. And it's because you can't find it anywhere. It's yep. literally because, like, at least CYPV came out this year. I don't know if Weller Single Barrel has, if it will, or no, whatever. But they're just both really... Disappointing. Really bad. They're way overpriced on the secondary. And congrats to Buffalo Trace, because your marketing is fantastic. But I don't, I don't know why we congratulate Buffalo Trace, because they're not seeing the secondary money. No, but just the hunt for more of Buffalo Trace product. Like... I think at the end of the day, like Buffalo Trace, you know, it, they do yes. the same thing with with the, tail, the with the barrel proof. Yeah, and even the single barrel, which you should be able to find the single barrel everywhere, I and agree. you can't, you can't find it anywhere. No, nope. no, nope, I agree. I'm still mad at you, Buffalo Trace, for that. <laughs> still on the H Taylor single barrel. Okay, all right. Well, Listen, I don't, One I don't day. ask for a, I don't ask for a lot. I That's just true. want a single barrel. That's true. Fair. That's I all think, I want. I think pretty much everybody out there who's listening would say the exact same thing. Yeah. Even if they have one. Yeah. So I just want one. Want to stumble in a store, yeah. some mom and pop store, <laughs> and pay, I, I don't know, I'd even pay $85 in a store for one and be like, oh, that was so nice. <laughs> Somebody please get him a knee H. Taylor single barrel so that way we can move on. I know. It'll maybe, my, hey, listen, maybe my 2022 will change. There right? you go. There you go. But yeah, so anyways, that's our six bourbons that for we're not hunting for. That we're not yeah. we're and we would recommend you all not hunting for. Obviously. If I found it in a store, you better believe I'm gonna buy it just because I know what it goes for on the secondary. Sure. But I'm just not gonna find it. You're just not gonna find it. It's not good. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna move it out of the way because yeah. we're just not gonna find it. Um so listen, if you have some other ones that you don't think are worth hunting for please yeah. tell us we like to we like to know what we don't need to waste our time on or if you disagree with our list and you think some of this stuff is actually pretty good you or... can tell us that too <laughs> yeah go ahead we'll and have that you, conversation and if, you, and if you want to tell zach that he's short i please <laughs> please do so yeah uh, let's go ahead yeah so until next time we'll see you